Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. Recently, we are just transitioning from one Rotary year to the next, and I had the privilege and opportunity of being invited to the Ventura East Club with Jeff Hada as the president there, and we had a recap of his year. I was able to actually coerce him into being on our show. So with that, Jeff, welcome. Thank you, Wade. It's good to be here. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I was born and raised in Oxnard, California, back when it was mostly farm country. Um, if you're familiar with Oxnard now, it's pretty much just city, but um, grew up there on our family farm. We were vegetable farmers. I uh, went to college in St. Cloud, Minnesota, and uh, worked for Eastman Kodak Company for over 20 years. Okay. And then uh, I went to work for the man that originally hired me out of college. He had retired, so to say, started a print shop, and I went to work for him. And uh, a funny story when he was in the process of selling the company to me, so one of the things that has to be in the contract is you have to join Rotary because he was a very <laughs> firm believer wow. in the things that Rotary does. So I said, okay, I could do that. What is Rotary? Um, so he took me to some meetings and I, I did some research and found you know, it's a really good organization. So I said, okay, I joined Rotary and, and here I am 15 <laughs> years later still Great. plugging away. Good for you. Tell us um, why you stayed in Rotary. You, you know, some people have that Rotary moment and they actually, you know, they get it, they understand it. Did you have that opportunity? My Rotary moment actually came nine years after I joined Rotary. Um, it was at the end of my first term as president and the YMCA asked for a donation. And I went to my board and I said, you know, the YMCA wants a donation, what do you, what do you think? And the board's feeling was they didn't want to make a donation if it was just going to go into a general fund. Right. Um, the general fund that that money would have gone into was for scholarships because the wise mission is that nobody should ever get turned away. Right. Um, but nonetheless, they wanted something very specific. So I went back to the YMCA and I said, yeah, we'd like to give you some money, but we want to direct where those funds are going to go. And I said, if you guys could start a program, what, what would that be? And they called me back a couple days later and they said they would like to start a Learn to Swim program for homeless and disadvantaged youth. And the thing I left out was originally they called looking for a $1,000 donation. Um, I went back to our board and said, you know, the Y wants to start this program. Um, we would be the primary funder of the program, so we would get our name associated with it and the board liked that idea mm -hmm. and they liked it so much that we actually funded what we were calling Operation Splash at that time for five thousand dollars not wow. for for a thousand <laughs> and I'm proud to say that that program is still going we've donated between five and six thousand dollars every year wow. to that program and we've taught thousands of, of youth in, in our community how to swim that normally wouldn't have been able to Good, very good. Now I know the uh, Ventura East Club is extremely active. You guys are everywhere in the community and internationally also. Do you attribute that to the availability of members actually having the opportunity to do these projects hands-on? You know Wade, every club has its culture and the culture of Ventura East has always been hands-on. Um, we want to be able to put our hands on the projects that we're working on and get our hands dirty and see results. Um, and that includes both international as well as local. We just finished a global grant in Nicaragua and we have members that would fly down there a couple of times a year to look right. at the project, see what was going on, make sure that what we were told was happening was happening. <laughs> and that's, that's just been our culture to be very hands-on with what right. we do. And that was um, started by your, your late member, right? Uh, yeah. Pastor Sir Governor Jan Lindsay. Jan Lindsay started that program nice, along nice. with Tom Crozier. Right. Um, that originally started as a coffee tree project. Really? And wow. uh, they found out that that wasn't real good. So then it went to a water project where they were digging wells in Nicaragua. Um, we were doing that in conjunction with a, a Rotary Club in Oklahoma. And then Jan started a, a nonprofit foundation called Go Care. And Jan's um, 
feeling was that the old you could teach a person you could give a person a fish, but if you teach them the fish, they'll eat forever. Mm -hmm. um, he felt that if you give the people skills, if you give them a trade, that from there they could go on and prosper and, and, and be successful. And that's primarily what our project center have turned turned into is nice. education. Good, mm -hmm. very good. Yes, it has. It's a beautiful project, by the way. You guys do an outstanding job in Nicaragua, even with the challenges we currently face down there with the, some of the political unrest. Yeah. So, unfortunate, but I see uh, the schools making it through quite well. Yeah, the schools, our projects are doing well. Um, I, we heard a story that when the unrest was at its worst, the people in the town actually put their vehicles on the entrances to the wow. city and kept people from coming in that potentially could damage damage nice. what they had. So, so there's a lot of pride they've of ownership. They've taken ownership and pride, oh, nice. exactly. Oh, nice. Oh, very good. You uh, sent us some pictures, so let's take a look at some sure. of the projects that you've actually done. This project here, uh, if you want to tell yeah. us a little bit about this, them. This project here, our, our Ventura Rotaract Club, um, was started about nine years ago, and that's a joint project between the three Ventura clubs. Okay. Um, and they've really adopted City Center, which is a transitional living facility. And every year at Christmas, they do a children's Christmas party at the City Center yes. where they get donations from a local restaurant or whatever to feed and have a, have a meal, and they provide everybody presents. And wow. that's part of what this project was. Great. So how many um, rotor actors do you actually have there? We had about 20 active wow. rotor actors That's this good. year. Yeah. That's very good. The other thing that they do is they do a house build in Mexico right. um, with Corazon where they go down there and in a day build a house. Wow. And uh, yeah, give the keys over to the new owners. That is very good. Now, have yeah. you been had an opportunity to do any of the projects with them? I have not had opportunity to do the house project. I would really yeah. like to go someday. Yeah. That sounds like a good yeah. one. Yeah. Perfect. And the next picture we have. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ventura Botanical Gardens. This, I don't know if you know Midge Stork or not. I do, definitely. But Midge Stork is a doer. And if Midge says something's going to happen, it's going to happen. And it was a few years ago, she did a trip and she came back and she said she saw Botanical Gardens that was sponsored by Rotary. And she said, we are going to have a world-class botanical garden that's sponsored nice. by Rotary in Ventura. And I told Midge, if you say that's going to happen, then I know it's going to happen. <laughs> and it has come to life. True. And the three clubs, of, again, put some money together. And this is the ribbon cutting for what we're calling Rotary Plaza. Mm -hmm. And it's an overlook for all points in the, in the gardens come together. It's a junction area. And we've put a wall there where we have people, donors' names on it. We have the rotary wheel. Um, the four-way test is coming for that wall. Nice. And it's just to symbolize that rotary is, is there and doing the work in the community. Great. And that's uh, Midge actually holding the uh, scissors there in the yeah, center, right? Yeah, that's her with the scissors. Good for her. Yeah. Nobody lost any fingers. So it was all <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, thankfully. Good thing uh, yeah. you guys have good leadership there because <laughs> she gets a little carried away. She yeah, can she go does. and go and she go. Does. <laughs> She's a bundle of energy. She really is. <laughs> okay, next picture we have is, looks like a scholarship yeah, program. Yeah, this is our scholarships that happened about a month ago. Um, we were giving away probably about $20,000 wow. a year in scholarships. And about, I think it was three or four years ago, one of our members, Bob Beckwith, passed away. And he left our foundation $2.1 million. That's your club foundation? Into our club foundation. Wow. Wow. And that money was ear noted strictly for scholarships. Okay. So from that, we take whatever we gain, we earn on the money in our investment accounts and use that for scholarships. And this year we gave away $60,000 in scholarships. Wow, that's impressive. And they weren't little scholarships. Our smallest scholarship this year was $1,500. Okay. And uh, we, we try to make sure that we take care of our youth going to college. Good. So this is high school transitioning into high college? High school transitioning, and if you're in college, you could reapply if you received okay. one before. Oh, yeah. got it. Okay. And how's the competition? So if you give out 60... We actually, this year for the first time, had to go through the applications and 
eliminate some before we did the interviews. We interview every person nice. um, with a committee mm -hmm. to hear their story, hear what the need is, because our scholarships are need-based. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a need, then really we're going to use our money with somebody that if they don't get that money, they're not going to college. Okay. So while most of the kids are the 4.5, 4.6 GPA, um, they do have a need, and we do, you know, look at the kids that aren't that high up in the GPA because they have a need also. Right. So, right. good. Have you, um, with the program being around for a while, have you had any success stories that you could share with us that you've seen or heard of? Or we've had some students come back that have gone on to be doctors wow. and, and attorneys, and um, I know one of our. One student in particular came back, and she's working in the nonprofit world now because Good. she was just so touched by what Rotary and other nonprofits wow. do. That she got her degree, and now she's working in the nonprofit world. Great, so. outstanding. Oh, well, that's very good. Good successes there. Let's see, the next picture we have is—is um, is that a this warehouse? Is, yeah, this is a warehouse. Um, every year we work with the United Way on their day of caring. Um, we'll go to about three or four different projects. This one happens to be at Food Share, where we were either cleaning out co collection barrels or we were packing food. Okay. Um, they have what they call recipes, and you line up all of these boxes of canned goods, then you just pass a box putting your canned good into the box. Got it. So it could be like a senior box or okay. you know a family box, whatever. But Kind of mixed meals then. Yeah, mixed oh, that, meals. That yeah, nice. we, we packed a lot of boxes that day. <laughs> and we've been doing that with the United Way for a long time now. What do you think your participation is as far as membership? Is it 50%, 10% that actually help you out with these projects? I think this year we're about 30%. About 30%. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then that would be different 30% depending on the it event. It depends. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it varies. Some years we, we get more, some years we get less. It all depends on what projects we okay. get, to be real honest. And what's your membership? How many, how many members do you actually have in your club? We have about 45 right okay. now. Oh, good size. Mm -hmm. Doing fine. Good. Very good. So the next picture we have, what do we got here? A race? This, this is our signature event. Okay. This is the 4th of July Push and Pull and Parade in Ventura. Okay. This parade was started in 1976 for the bicentennial year. Um, again, Midge had her hand in it. <laughs> but the city was looking for something to signify that. And they go, well, what if, what if we do this parade? And they put it on, and that parade's been going on every year since. And we've tried to estimate how many people are there. We're somewhere between five and 10,000 people show <laughs> wow. up. Wow. Um, if you've ever been on Main Street in Ventura, right. you know how wide that street is. But that's going about six city blocks. Wow. And when it ends, when the first people get to the very end, the last people are just leaving the start. Okay. And that's people from side to side on the street. So mm. there are a lot of people there. Okay. And what give us the what the actual parade is about? The parade is just for people to walk down Main Street celebrating the Fourth of July. Okay. So you can do anything you want as long as there's not a motor on it. Okay. So we have people with strollers, people with bikes, mm -hmm. people with It's just carriages. the people parade, it's just basically. People. Oh, that's and it's nice. just people that like to come out on the 4th of July and just walk down Main Street. Okay. So it, it's pretty amazing. And you know, if we weren't there to put it on every year, that parade's still going to happen because mm -hmm. people are just going to show up. True. But you know, they decorate everything red, white, and blue, and they face <laughs> paint. and. Uh -huh. um, two years ago, we started we started bringing a, a PA system out, and we started the parade with everybody singing "God Bless America," oh, which nice. which was a nice thing to add to it. So that is actually done by your Rotary Club. We, right? Yeah, we wow. put that on every wow. year. That's great. Now, do you still do the St. Patrick's Day parade too? We participate in the St. Patrick's Day parade, but okay. that's actually put on. I think it's the Lions. I'm okay, not sure. Just a different group. Okay, but yeah, you guys are involved. We, we with participate. That yeah. Nice. Oh, very good. And uh, success of that is that you're going to continue doing it. And it looks like now that you're going to be a past president, is your role still going to be as important in getting this parade going? Actually, the beauty of this parade is it's the first event for the incoming president. 
<laughs> so while we're planning it now, their job is to bring donuts and coffee for everybody getting up so early that day. Got it. So what time does it start? So it starts at 10, but we're out there about 8 o'clock in okay. the morning. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to block the streets you off. you got to close the streets down, right, right. No, that's yeah, great. But it, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it sounds that way. I think I'll have to look, look that one up there. It sounds like a great time. This one here, our next picture we have is a... Oh, it's a jigs that's our jigsaw puzzle challenge. Okay. We started that this year. It was the first time we did it, and we had 10 teams, and actually the Santa Barbara Rotaract Club won it. Oh, really? But um, the whole thing was you put together a team of four, mm -hmm. and we gave everybody the exact same puzzle. Okay. It was, I think it was a 300-piece puzzle. Okay. And the first team to finish it won. Okay. And uh, this is a picture of some of our Rotarians working on, on the puzzle. and uh, That's a 300-piece puzzle? It looked like a lot smaller pieces yeah, than that. Yeah, next year we got to get a puzzle with bigger pieces. That's <laughs> the one thing we learned. But it was a lot of fun. And the money was um, going to go to the Autism Society of oh. Ventura County. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, we, that's the organization we started working with And when does this happen? When do you guys actually have that event? We did that in the winter. I think that okay. was in March, February, March. Okay, yeah. got it. Early spring then. Yeah. Got it. And this one? Ah, this one we found this year also. This happened in the fall. And this was um, something that was put on by FTD, and it's called Make Someone Smile Week. Hmm. And they looked for volunteers to come in, and this florist opened up their warehouse for the volunteers. And you can see the little mug with the smiley face on it. That's what we were putting the arrangements in. So everybody was in there arranging, making arrangements into these mugs. And I think there were probably a couple hundred people there, and we probably put together about four or 500 mugs. Wow, oh, nice. That was on a Friday. And then on Saturday, they went and they delivered them to people like in um, senior living facilities. Mm -hmm. um, if you nominated somebody that was homebound, they would okay. get one. An ironic thing on this, a friend of mine sent me an email on Sunday and said that their mother passed away the day mm -hmm. before. But they wanted to thank me because they, her, their mother got one of those oh, mugs nice. just before she passed away. Nice. And she said, thank you for doing that because it brought some happiness to her mother know. just That's before. Great. So That is great. That's again, a good story. You, know, you do those things and you touch people that True. you don't realize. True. And, and it touches you back. That's yes. Good. That is good. Um, to keep you out of the doghouse, though, you may want to talk about the person that's in the front and center. Front and center, picture. my wife, Rosandra, yes. <laughs> um, she was a big support system for me this year right. for my year as president. Right. And she just recently joined, right? She actually has not joined yet. Oh, boy. We are yeah, pushing yeah. her to join, but <laughs> okay. she actually has not yet. Okay, okay, well, that's good. Her life is just so hectic right now with yeah. work that she good. just doesn't want to join and not be able to give it 100%. True. I, I want to give her kudos because she worked extremely hard at your, your event, your step down yeah. event. So if you could maybe share a little bit about her passion and what she does for you in support of your rotary uh, habit. Well... When I actually agreed to be president again this time, I talked to her first, of course. This is your second time, This correct? is my second time. And I said, you know, we have a need, and I would kind of like to feel, fill that need. What, what do you think? And she said, yes. She said, I'll be behind you 100%. Yes. So she was really there. She did a lot of planning on events for me. She helped out a lot there. And she wrote an article for a newsletter every week. Wow. which is well, good. from the spouse's perspective on what it is to be a, a you know, Interesting. spouse Interesting. I'd love to see some of those. That. I don't remember seeing those. Yeah, so you could go to our good. website and look up uh, I, I our bulletins and see what you do wrote. That. But right. it's uh, rotaryventuraeast.org. Okay, got it. Yeah, I'll we'll have to look that up. She did that, and you know, she didn't always have the time, but she always managed to make the time to write that article. Nice. But no, she was very active this year. Yeah, and she's very energetic she was a too. Godsend. So that was a good oh one. yeah, yeah, good. Okay, so we have a let's see another picture here. Okay, this is one of our projects. Um, this started out as a social for the club. Um, one of the things we wanted to do was have members get to know each other better. And my wife Rosandra and one of our members Ashley Pope put together twelve events, which they called Sip and Seas. The original intent was that we all get together, sip a little wine, and 
see what everybody's up to. Mm -hmm. um, from there, there was a craft component so that people would have something to do. Okay. On this one, we did what's called knotted blankets where you take two pieces of right. fabric and right. knot it. And so we made a bunch of these blankets, I think it was about 15 of them, and donated them to some of the homeless shelters. That's very good. I know Roxanne, my wife, um, late uh -huh. wife, was involved with that too. She made those and gave them to uh, cancer patients. Kids, yeah. Kids. yeah. Uh, it is. That's a great project. Yeah, and they're so easy to do. And then this one here? Ah, that's another sip and see. This was our rock painting. This was the first one we did. A rock painting? We, we went to the beach and we picked up a bunch of rocks. <laughs> and uh, brought we, probably, we probably shouldn't put that. I don't know if that's supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> we, I heard we that's not exactly <laughs> legal, but you know, we found some rocks somewhere. We found some rocks somewhere. <laughs> but we painted them. as you know. We got a, quite a few people out for this okay. one. And on the back, we put the hashtag Pound Rotary East Rocks. Okay. Oh, nice. And the whole thing was after they were painted, we took them and we just put them out in the community on the streets. Mm -hmm. And to see if anybody would pick them up, look at the back, and actually make a mention on social media mm -hmm. with that hashtag. And we actually had about five hits where people wow, put really? the hashtag oh, that's neat. on social media. And one of them, they said, I love this. I'm taking my rock back to New Jersey, and I'm going to put it out in New Jersey. So... One of our rocks made it back to New Jersey, oh, that's I great. think. I don't know for sure. That's but great. <laughs> yeah. You have to go there and find out, I yeah, guess. You have to go there and find out, yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. Some great projects you've got there. Yeah. So um, tell me this. Since you're one of the few Rotarians I know that served twice as president, what do you think you learned from the first time to the second time, if you were to compare the two? Was the second they're, one better or the same, just different? They're not the same. Okay. I could tell you that. The club has changed a lot in the nine years since I've been president mm -hmm. before. Um, in a lot of ways, it was harder. Um, okay. I mentioned this at our step down that Rotary's big emphasis right now is we've got to get the younger demographic in, which we do because we are an aging population, and if we don't get younger, we're just eventually going to become irrelevant and... and go away, so we don't want that. So the whole thing was to bring younger people, try to find a way to motivate younger mm -hmm. people. And when I was president nine years ago, I, wasn't, I was younger, so it was like you know, <laughs> not that big a deal. But um, that was the big challenge to me, was how do, how do we motivate younger people? How do we make the club interesting enough that they will want to come join us and be a part of us? Good. And I think we've made some inroads. We brought in five new members Good. last year, right. and four of them were in that demographic that we're looking for. So, mm -hmm. Good. And you think that um, has to do more with your hands-on experience that you offer to your members? Yeah, I think, uh, well, I think, but what I hear is that the generation coming up, it's not that they don't want to be socially um, they don't want to be active and they don't want to do things. It's just they don't have the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, come up with something that they could come and do and they'll do it. So that's what we're trying to do is just find projects that inspire them and give them a reason to come out and work with us. That's good. What do you think you um, learned the second time that you'll be able to carry through with your Rotary career? I think I learned this time that I'm not as patient as I thought I was. Um, <laughs> okay. There were a lot of things that didn't quite work out the way I, I wanted them or thought they would. And, you know, sometimes I got a little upset about it. Never in public, you know, always of to course. Rosandra. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I just think, yeah, I need to learn to just see all sides and and just uh, take it a little bit easier. And well, as far as if a president, you are extremely patient from all of the presidents I've worked with, and there's been thousands of them throughout, uh -huh. throughout the world here. But uh, no, no, you've uh, expressed yourself always with a lot of patience, and we appreciate that, and I think your club appreciated that also. I believe you are the first president to serve two terms, correct? In my club, yes. In your club, yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. And with that, how much or how many of the staff people, your board people, actually did you bring back along with that from the first time, or was it a whole new board? It, hmm. 
From the first time, there was probably only about two or three people okay. that were the same. Okay. Um, the rest were all people that have come into the club yes. since since okay. I was president the first time. Okay, good. And you guys meet at the point, we, the Poinsettia Pavilion, right. correct? Right, we meet at the Poinsettia Pavilion every Thursday from 12 to 1.30. Okay. We have the best view in Ventura. You had a great view, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> a very good view. Um, do you have any aspirations, I would say, in Rotary of possibly serving at, at another level? Maybe going beyond your club. Just curious. Um, I know you had one at, one term where you worked yeah, outside. Yeah, I served for you as your <laughs> new generations director, and that was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed that. Right now, um, I don't know that I have the time because okay. I'm I'm helping my wife with with Rosandra with her company, okay. and that's pretty time consuming right now, but. I did enjoy working at the district level. Mm -hmm. It was it was a lot of fun, and I, you meet a lot of really great people when you, you work do. at the district level. Very very true, and it seemed to fit well because uh, new generations. Um, one of the reasons I selected you is because of that passion and the patience that you do mm -hmm. have to work with that next generation. When we talk about that, we're talking about the young professionals, the road right. actors. We're talking about the interactors, the high school people, mm -hmm. and then uh, younger than that. Right. So uh, that that's very good. Of that group, what did you feel was the most rewarding in that new generations, besides the district part of it? Did you get any kind of um, interest, feedback, something that you learned or got out of that new generation role? I just, role? I, I like the enthusiasm with, with the, and I'm going to call them kids, mm -hmm. that were involved with that. Um, I had the privilege of chartering the Moore Park High School um, interact club and it was just a pleasure to work with those kids okay. and I was very active with helping the Ventura Rotor actors get going and it's just if you get the right group of, of kids together there's nothing they can't accomplish. Very good. Well we only have a few more minutes left in the show and um, I want to share with the audience how, how good a sport you are and by the way doing the uh, new generations working with the young people. We're, we're doing uh, that today. We are doing that, definitely <laughs> doing that today. And so I'm going to ask, this is, a, I've only done this one other time, this is the first time in quite a few years we've done it again, but our complete camera staff and production staff are here and they are with a, a summer camp. So I'm going to ask them to come on up on stage so we can get you on television here because yeah. uh, I think the Rotary world is going to be um, very surprised to see what kind of yeah. uh, hard work is you all These are. You guys did a great job. You guys did a great job. Thank you. We'll bring we'll bring the uh, the instructor up also because I'm not good at controlling kids. <laughs> Yeah, they have all these slogans. Yeah, so, so what do you think? How fun was this? Good. Good really time? Fun. You guys have yeah. a great time? You going to do it again? Yeah. Do you guys know what Rotary is now? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> kind of. That's very good. And what is the name of the program, by the way? Fun in the Sun. Fun in the Sun. In the sun. Okay. And is this the first time you guys ever did a TV show? Yeah. What all do you right. think? You want to do some more of these? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, very good. Well, thank you all for joining us. I think we're pretty much out of time right now anyway. So with that, you can go ahead and wave goodbye with me. With that, we'll see you all next time. Thank you very much. And help out those new generation young people. Yeah. Thank you. There you go.